Now let's calculate hidden height. So we have the globe Earth's radius of 6,371 kilometers. We have the globe Earth's circumference of 40,075 kilometers. Let's assume the observer's eye level is at a height of 6 feet. So converting that to kilometers, it's 0.0018288 kilometers. And let's assume that this building is 20 kilometers away. So if we were to draw a tangent from the observer touching the horizon um, to the building, we would see that this section is hidden and this section is visible. So we can label these points A, B and C. We would form a triangle which would generate an angle theta here. Remember that we can use this expression to calculate theta. We already know the arc length. So rearranging this formula and plugging in the values for arc length and circumference, we get um, theta is equal to 0 0.18 degrees. Now we can draw a line from the tangent to the circle to the centre. And this would form a right angle triangle. And this angle here, we can label it as phi. Again, we can use trigonometry to find what this angle is. And this angle is given by the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. The adjacent is equal to the radius of the Earth and the hypotenuse is um, the radius plus the height of the observer. So as we did before we just uh, carry out that calculation and we get phi equals 0 0.0434 degrees. Now we can find this angle. This angle we'll call it omega and this is the large angle and this is a small angle so omega is equal to the large angle minus the small angle so theta minus phi and we get um, for omega we get um, 0 0.1366 degrees So here we have omega equals 0 0.1366 degrees, this angle here. Let's label this point, point D. Then using trigonometry, oh by the way, this is a right angle triangle as well. Um, so using trigonometry, we can find the length OC. Now OC is the hypotenuse and OB is the adjacent. So now we have cos omega equals adjacent over, adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos omega is equal to 6,371 divided by the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the unknown. 
we rearrange this expression to make OC the subject of the formula and we simply uh, carry out the calculation. We calculate OC to be 6,371.0181 kilometres. We can now find the hidden height of the building. The hidden height is this distance here, C to D. This total distance, OC, we know, and this distance, OD, we know, that's the radius. So we simply subtract OC, sorry, OD from OC. Once we carry out that subtraction, we get um, 0 0.0181 kilometres as our answer, and this is the equivalent of 59.38 feet. What this is saying is that if there is a building that is an arc length of 20 kilometres away, then the hidden height of that building from an observer who is um, six foot tall will be 0 0.0181 kilometres or 59.38 feet. We can also calculate this length here, AB. And AB is calculated using Pythagoras. So we say this length here, square that length, and sub square this length, and subtract this squared from this squared, and then we square root the whole, the whole thing. So we get AB is equal to 4.827 kilometres. We can also find BC using Pythagoras. So we want to find BC. In this case, this is our hypotenuse. So we square this and we square this. We subtract this side from this side and then we square root the expression and so the length BC is equal to 15.186 kilometers. So the total length AC is equal to 20.0138 kilometers.